I'm going to share with you five ways that I like to incorporate spa-like moments throughout my day. Now, these are really quick and simple, very, very easy. Maybe something that you already do. I'm not sure, but this is just the different things that I like to do. But here's the key. There's no DIY with this. We all love those great experiences where we can do the facials and, you know, have a massage and, you know, do a detox bath. But sometimes I just need the quick and done. All right. So these are ways that I create moments like that throughout my throughout my day. Now, we're going to start with first thing in the morning, eucalyptus. I love to take eucalyptus, drop it in the bottom of on the bottom of my shower floor or in the sink and then that way first thing in the morning I'm breathing in that aroma and I'm trying to get ready and it's just creating this wonderful experience and awakening my senses. Eucalyptus is always used in steam rooms in various spas you know and so this is a way that I can create that little DIY with not making something at home. So eucalyptus in the bathroom I keep it there and use it on the daily. Now, let's move into getting ready. So, you have your first, your favorite personal care products. This is my Virage uh, moisturizer right here. I love it, one of my favorites. And um, there's oils in this, fantastic oils for your skin. What I like to do when I'm getting ready is I like to add a different oil to it. Now, sometimes I will use frankincense, sometimes I'll use rose, but I just pump the product in my hand, add my favorite oil to it, apply, and then I'm getting a spa experience all over again, just with adding additional oils to my products. Some of the oils that I like to use are black spruce, cypress, rose, geranium, and I will switch it up. And so that way I'm getting the different emotional and physical benefits of the oils in a singular experience just by putting on my personal care products, um, adding the lavender and rosemary to your mascara. I have a primer that I use um, a lot of times during the winter for uh, my makeup. And so I will add oils to my primer during that time. So adding additional oils to your personal care products while you're applying them. And it's, it's just so simple. I love to do that. Now we're getting dressed. One of the things I like to do is to take little cotton rounds and apply different oils to them. You can apply something like lemon if you want. Um, I personally think that adaptive is really good to put on these cotton rounds for kids. Now, where are you gonna put these? You're gonna add the oils to it and then you're gonna put them in the chest of drawers. So when you open up the drawer in the morning to get dressed, again, you get an aroma, you get that little fresh hint and you get some aromatherapy right there while you're getting dressed. It really helps freshen up your clothes too. Uh, the cotton rounds are harder to do in a closet, but I find it's perfect for the chest of drawers. Some of the oils I like to use for myself are Citrus Bliss. Sometimes I'll put in a patchouli, something like that. For men, cedar wood or sandalwood is really good. And then for kids, I love adaptive. So cotton rounds, oils, Put them in your chest of drawers, okay? Another quick and simple thing while you're getting dressed. Now, when we move from task to task to task, um, our brains can get really fried during the day. And I can say for myself as a mom, I'm always multitasking. However, we are not created well for that. So one of the things that I like to do is to create margin in my day. It takes your brain about 20 minutes to go from one task to the next. So if you're constantly doing this all day, then try to create a little bit of margin in your day. Grab a cup of hot tea, put in um, a, a relaxing playlist or put on a relaxing playlist if you want. If, if it's gonna make you too sleepy, just do an instrumental of like lively awake music, whatever. Whatever works for you. The point is, is that you're gonna take about 20 minutes and you are going to relax. So I have my little portable diffuser. I love my Pilot. If you have the room, you can do that and just create the space in your home that's gonna be your place to create margin. So grab your diffuser and I'll share with you two of my favorite diffuser blends for creating margin. I'm not going to give you the amounts of the oils to put in because I want you to play around a little bit and figure out what works for you. So one of my very favorite blends to do is Balance, Eucalyptus, and Green Mandarin. Oh my word, it's so grounding, it's so beautiful, and it's not overpowering. It's just this gentle 
aromatherapeutic session. So I have my playlist, maybe I'll get a journal or something. This is not going to be a long sit in one place thing. This is just, I'm taking a beat and then I have my, my hot tea with my little diffuser blend. So the first blend is green mandarin, balance, and eucalyptus. The second blend is patchouli, cypress, and tangerine. All of these oils have a lot of grounding benefits and cypress, I love to use it because it's the oil of motion and flow. If you're feeling stagnant, cypress is really good for that. So a spa-like moment to create margin in your day is amazing. Now, the fifth and final way that you can create a spa-like moment during the day is to, when the last dish is done in the kitchen, kitchen sink is clean, you're turning off the lights. I love to grab my lemon and my spearmint, one drop of each of these in the sink. And then the next day, the first person who gets up, the earliest riser, or you know, the person who's making the coffee, whoever that is, when they turn on the water in the morning, they're going to have this wonderful freshness of energy first thing in the morning. And it's incredible to just start your day with aromatherapy and guys, the oils, you know, they're amazing. And so these are ways that you can use them that are quick and you can keep them exactly where you need them and have some spa-like moments during your day. Okay, so what was your favorite tip? I wanna hear from you. Which tip, is there one that you already use? Do you have a favorite oil that you like to use for grounding or creating a spa experience in your home? I hope you guys find this helpful and we will chat soon.